Well, a very, very warm welcome to you on what is, of course, a truly special day in this part of the world. It is Derby Day, a rivalry so deeply entrenched into the history of sport in this land. It divides opinions, it divides families, it divides just about anything that can be divided. The game itself lasts just 90 minutes, but its repercussions can be felt for months and years ahead. The Emirates Stadium, in all its glorious modernity, this symbol of new Arsenal, the Arsenal of the 21st century. This is a friendly, but a friendly only in name. Well, I think we know what we're in for, whatever the circumstances that exist when these two meet. Losing really isn't an option, making this another intense, feisty clash, which should keep everyone on edge. The fans are more nervous than the players, to me, confirming an atmosphere of, of angst. Try telling them there's nothing riding on this. There's the whistle. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Pierre Emmerich Aubameyang, Peter. It's his pace that's his main attribute, especially over those first few yards, where he just seems to glide away from defenders, gets himself into great positions, and likes to hit it. And the shot! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Dyer. Ricky Long. And it's Deli Alley. And here's Aubameyang. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. And here's Aubameyang. Pate played out to the right. Big chance! Arsenal get it back again. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Ball is over the line. Defending. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, that is rather wayward. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looked a harder thing to do. Aubameyang. Oh, Whistle's gone, that's a uh, foul. A 
on the shot. And it's a goal. It is a good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a eel the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. Arsenal draw first blood here. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. And the flag has stayed down. Good idea, just poorly executed. It's a loose ball. Arte tries to get it forward quickly. Out for a throw. In with the challenge. Ricky Lon demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. been one straight back and it's a Bamiyang. Son Hyung Min. Could run down the left. What can they make of it? Ricky Lon crosses it in low. And back out it comes. Granite Chaka. And the referee brings the first half to a close. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Not the most convincing of displays. They can certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence, and not rush into mistakes. Already up and running for the second half. Tottenham need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution. And I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Well, they're looking at the referee, but he's waved play on. Tierney. Well, that's surely a foul free kick. Ricky Lon. Hoiberg. Plays it out to the wing. Sticks in a foot to win it back. Aubameyang already, of course, on the score sheet. He's found his man. Has a hit! Big relief. It just needed better contact. Well, he did get himself into a good position something for him to cling to Dyer plays it forward Saka Partey Partey drives it forward Lovely bit of skill. And it's been taken straight back. Gets the better of it. And the finish! Oh, just lacked a decent finish.
So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. So Jim, what are you thinking? Well, at the moment, their chances of getting back in contention look slim, but they're not exerting... Oh, Pami, yeah. goes for goal! It's broken loose! <laughs> Referee's given a throw. Bayerini. Partey. Very well to intervene. He's it's Kane! It's in! They are right back in business! And that really is so, so impressive. in this fashion, Peter. Um, they're going to really test, test the referee's patience from here. here. Aurier. So when they did, they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and took such a well-worked finish too. He's made it two and no doubt he's hungry for more. Oh, now some movement on the bench and we are going to see a change. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Arsenal take on the bit of a decisive lead. There's still a bit left in it, Peter, but they should find it necessary to avoid a slip on now. And that's a pop! Their attempt, just the wrong outcome. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though.
hoists it forward. Shoot! Tries to get it clear. Oh, surely that deserved better. Almost the perfect move. Almost. The finish just wasn't quite at the same level. there for well for me that's just pure predatory brilliance it's not so much the finish but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it that's fantastic Arsenal could not have picked a better top and that's it no joy for the players nor indeed for the loyal fans it has ended in defeat a thoroughly disappointing outcome so there it is what struck you most about that yeah, and we know that derbies can often make predictions look silly. They can take on a, a personality of their own, and this one didn't really deserve to have a loser. I think we're just about out of time, so many thanks to Jim, and a very good afternoon to you.